Because I'm hearing you, you, you're actually acknowledging spirit in every sense of the way. Okay, so I have a couple questions. Um, number one, are you basically saying like it is a good idea to kind of talk to them maybe on a daily, like actually open that dialogue? Because I think like with me, I'd be expecting them just to talk to me, but I don't, maybe I should start talking to them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. <clears throat> Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Because, you know, um, the big thing is, is it's, it's people don't realize that you have to give them to work with you. They're not going to do go against your free will. They're not going to just like, you know, <clears throat> I can't hear my spirit guides or I'm not, they're not helping me like I, I think they should. It's you have to legitimately give them permission. And so there I've given them permission. I mean, it, it started like I've always worked with them, but it really started. I would say, oh, and probably in 2015, um, I uh, was doing readings part at nighttime plus doing the Cena work. And um, I love my job as a Cena. Like, like I absolutely loved it. It was just just so much part of my heart, but it was um, hurting my body. And at that time, I was like, what am I? I supposed to do I need to do something I cannot help doing this for the rest of my life but I want to still help people so what do I do and that's when I went to spirit and I went to my spirit guides and I opened the door and I just I meditated and I said oh I give you permission to lead me and uh they pretty much came on as like, I don't want to say my boss but as like a partnership they became my partners in my life that I said okay we're gonna so i will listen to you and you show me which way to go and um you know and it was a lot for me in the beginning because they were very clear that i had to be a clear vessel in order for me to do the work that i was supposed to do in order to do that at the time i'm all i'm an alcoholic i had to stop drinking i had to let go of a lot of hurts i had to forgive people that i hadn't forgiven yet so i had to release a lot of stuff in order to do that and then when i started when i actually was able to do that stuff um they just opened doors just i was able to quit my job as the cena and things just up wow that's amazing so meditation how would how do you meditate? I mean, because sometimes we make things harder than it has to be. <laughs> I think I'm one of those people. But how do you? Um, <laughs> it's the truth. How do you go about meditation? I meditate in every way. Like, um, I love to sit and meditate. Say, like I was, you know, sit in a room quietly. You know, hold the 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 mudras in your fingers, and you just sit in quiet and then meditate. I absolutely love doing that, but that's not something that I can do daily. It just doesn't work. I mean, life is busy; things happen, and so um, I've been shown so many different ways. And there's so many different types of meditation out there. So it's like I, I sometimes I do walking meditation. I'm just I go outside and listen to music, and I'm walking in meditation. Sometimes um, I'll be at the sink washing dishes because I have to wash dishes and I don't have time to do an hour meditation. So I incorporate that in my in washing dishes. So I'll just sit there and, and be mindful in that washing those dishes with the water because water's cleansing anyway. And so I just listen, put on some light music and I zone out in meditation. And so I just um, I think, you know, everybody's different when it comes to meditation. Yeah. And so my husband, he's like, he's got ADHD. I can't keep that man still. It's like, no matter what, but I was able to teach him some meditation for him, what works for him. And so he's able to incorporate that in his daily life so it can help him, but it's different than what it for me. So, you know, it's again with the day to day, I, I am really adamant for myself to take things day by day. So I wake up and go, what kind of meditation am I going to do today? And it, it can vary. It, it definitely varies. It sounds like you're very resourceful. And that was, I mean, that's great. I mean, you have to take a, it, but it is busy. It's, you know, being a mother, just living life, being a, a wife, um, you know, even just 
love love in itself is 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 a, it's a labor of love it doesn't have to be a negative thing but it, it's not going to be you just show up and it just does its own thing it's not like that you know you've got to put some gas in that car you got to rev that bad boy up and put the put your foot on the pedal you know you got to do some work so it's so many things that we have to do so that just sounds good that you you fit that in whatever it is you're gonna fit it in and that's beautiful Thank you.